To answer this question, we need to determine the smallest difference in charge between all of the possible combinations of the four drops. We will assume that this smallest difference corresponds to a single electron. So for example, if we look at the difference in charge between A and B, it's 4.8 times 10 to the negative 9 zorgs. The next one is 3.2 times 10 to the negative 9 zorgs. And this one's 6.4 times 10 to the negative 9 zorgs. But the smallest difference is actually between drops A and C, which is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 9 zorgs. So we will assume that this is the charge on a single electron. We then need to figure out how many charges of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 9 zorgs makes each total charge. Well, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 9 zorgs multiplied by 3 gives us the charge on droplet A, so it has 3 electrons. For the next one, we need to multiply the charge by 6 to get the total charge, so it has 6 electrons. And for C, we need to multiply 1.6 times 10 to the negative 9 by 4 to get the total charge of 6.4 times 10 to the negative 9 zorgs, so there's 4 electrons. And on the last one, using the same reasoning, there are 8 electrons.